Today we are going to be staining the brick on the church, okay? When you have a renovation project on an older house like this, change the exterior facade and make it modern. You can get 5 or 10% return on investment on your whole property if you just repaint the building, right? Let's understand that if you hire a contractor to do something like this, I was getting quotes a little around the $20,000 mark, okay? We reached out and got a couple of student painters to give us a hand, and I'm supplying the genie boom. And if you're gonna have a two-day project on a two-story building, I recommend having something like this. It's a lot safer than working off a ladder. But before we get started, I gotta get inside, and I gotta kill the wasps that are living at my door. You have gotta find out if you've got any wasps or hornet nests going on, especially me, because I've discovered I'm deathly allergic. Ha! Huh. We all know what happens with me and wasps. All right, you buggers. Okay, that didn't work. That just blew the straw right off there, Michelle. Did you see that? All I did was piss them off. Okay. Okay, there's a better product on the market, but we're out in the country, and this is all they had available. And now I've lost sight of them. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, let's get the nest. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Did we find the other one? There's a rogue wasp around here somewhere. There's one more over here. He's around. Where? There's three now. There's a second nest. Son of a Oh yeah, they're all over the place up there off the roof. Lovely. You wanna draw a white circle on my back so they know where to get me? Oh, hell no. Well, here we are. Maiden voyage, first day of work on the church. Let's get this out of the way because the weather's perfect. First thing we gotta do is get the genie set up. We gotta level all these, extend the outriggers. This is gonna take a minute. Beautiful. Now we're gonna switch this, switch it over to the bucket. Gonna remove the cross before the painters get here. It don't get any easier than that. Yeah, I'm kind of stable. 960s is the money. It looks like it might even be two different, three different pieces of wood. Wow. Yeah, it's bolted into the mortar. <laughs> That's how not to build something. <laughs> oh, that could have just come crashing down one day. A little bit of frost in the winter or something gets in there, you know? Just love these plugs here. <sighs> yeah, not that lucky, Max. It's all one piece. Do the bottom one to come back for it. From up here, that's quite a bend in that. <laughs> of course, this one's going to give me trouble now, right? <clears throat> I'm gonna just try to remove the bolt and set it onto the roof. And then we'll see how this reacts. Because if those back feet start to lift when I carry the weight, then uh, that's bad. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's the bolt. 
Okay, let's see if we can uh, put the weight on. How are we? How are we there? Okay. All better from here. If I drop this, Max, it could literally flip right at you. I want you to reposition. I gotta get the uh, arm off the road before I come down. There we go. Woo! I'm in high speed here. I'd rather not have this destroyed if we could get away with it. And it's on the ground. Okay. Ah. Riggers, this one, retract. Did I hit a button over here? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, my bad. No? No, it has an attitude, Max. Well, that's all working. No, it's for the... Uh... I was trying to retract the outriggers. Oh. There it is. There we go. Okay, try that. There we go. Okay, so then you can go to automatic leveling. All right, it'll give you help. Yeah, that's the only sensor it has. It's, hey, it's not level, don't go up. Okay. All right. The color, are these the same color? It's all one color. All one color. Yeah, all right. That's it there, that color? Yeah. So he, he made the wrong paint? Well, where is it on that? Here, there's another way to do this. What's this called? Gibraltar. G-I-B? Yeah. Ginger, Gibraltar gray. You got it. Page 10. It's uh, one of the toes. <sighs> okay. It's not terrible. It can be worked with. I don't like to worry about that now. Nope. All right, we adjust. <laughs> they mixed the wrong color on the paint. Now this particular product from PPG is actually designed for staining masonry that you can walk or drive on. And then after about six hours, it's set up so that it can receive a second coat and make it almost bulletproof. It's that effective. So as an exterior coating on a, on a church like this, it's gonna last for years and years and years. That is Money in the Bank. Yeah, you're fine. What I do when I'm going up, I was there earlier. <laughs> if you just take the bottom arm and go straight up with it, and then just swing yourself over. Yeah, that one. That gets you right where you want. And then you just kind of extend that out a bit to the wall. Just, just go straight up. That arm will go straight up and then you just got to level your end. Okay, there's a, the, the bottom of it. It has these round circles, yeah. <laughs> it has a little extra after you let go. There might not be enough pressure on the water yeah, line exactly. to engage it maybe. Yeah. So that should be working. Has it got a, a GFI breaker on it? Uh, yeah. Maybe it's uh, turned off. Yeah, there's less water coming out of that than there was the hose. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's not gonna work, whatever it is. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, there's just no water pressure here. They got they got a pump for a well, but it doesn't even <laughs> give you three gallons a minute. <laughs> Holy crap. What's wrong with you? Barely making contact with the ground, right? <sighs> Doesn't want to lift. Is that severed? Mm. Yeah, that is. There's no power to this box at all right now. You little pig. They <laughs> got caught. Ah. Why is that built like that? And, that? and it looks like it's happened more than once. Yeah. That's got to be clamped or something somewhere so that doesn't happen. Or it should be... Whoever fixed it, instead of running it through the elbow joint, brought it out the side, and now it's done the same damn thing again. It's apparently not working at all. Yeah. Hi! Hi! Yeah. Having an issue with the machine out here. Oh. It would seem... Um, the genie. Oh, no. It would seem like somebody has caught a wire on one of these elbow joints at one point and then patched it. And then instead of putting it through the, uh, the proper place, made it really susceptible to getting pinched again. It wouldn't work because the rigger wasn't level, and it wouldn't level the rig. So I'm not sure what the hell that's supposed to mean. I gotta get rid of the power here so I don't blow myself up, right? You'll have to go up, down, you'll have to get all the... Yeah, so like I'm saying, if you go left and right on the first coat, and then kind of up and down on the second, you're good. All right, I think you might be on the stop right now. There you go. Are they lit up? Uh, yeah, battery power. Good. And good to go. All right, it's all you. Thank God. Well, that's the good news. The tank is full of gas. <laughs> there you go, back in business. Piece of cake, man. <laughs> so so if we tackle this right now, we get it up, we come down, you keep working, or you go back up, or you hit two coats today. Coat, you're gonna get the ladder? You're gonna get ladder? Yeah, I'm gonna get ladder. And, because uh, I think it's probably faster anyway. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this yeah. takes so much setup. It's such a pain in the ass. Once it's, once it's set up, it's set up, but it's... Yeah, but then you gotta move it all the time. It seems to have a little bit of, yeah, restriction, eh? Yeah. Now it's showing full power. All right, 
and they mixed the wrong one, but this is a nice color. Yeah. It's just, it's been nuts. Every, at every turn, you just want to pull all your hair out. I used to have hair. Till... <laughs> Pulled out. <laughs> You guys work the corner there okay? That's fast, eh? Huh? Isn't that exciting? <laughs> The truth is, guys, when you're renovating, when you're tackling something you've never done before, as homeowners, as DIYers, you're going to have more moments like what you saw in this video than you are going to have moments like what you see in YouTube videos showing you how to get things done. There are a lot of different variables in life, and in this video, life definitely happened. <laughs> Expect it. Go into every project you're going to tackle with the mindset of, I'm going to run into obstacles, okay? and I'm gonna overcome them. Instead of, oh, it's gonna go so smooth and perfect, everything's fine, so when you hit a wall, it, it, it's defeating. Don't let that happen to yourself. Life is full of challenges. And whenever you step out of your comfort zone, you're gonna experience things for the first time you've never had to face before. The point of this entire reason we do YouTube channels at all is to help give you the insight, the empowerment, the ability to overcome your challenges so you can be successful with your projects. All right, so take heart. Life kicks me in the butt too. <laughs> it's normal. It's all about keeping that smile on your face, looking towards the end of the finish and figuring out a solution to your problem without losing your stuff, right? Okay, this is a lesson that I learned the hard way with my son, Matt. If you were following our journey, then you've seen the shed video where we were building together and almost killed each other. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, I want you to watch that video. This is an example of what most people look like when they're under too much stress and they're not dealing with it properly. We've overcome, we've fixed a relationship. Don't let this happen to you, okay? Keep a smile on your face and keep on learning. Cheers. <laughs>